Hello everyone, um, it's been a long while already that we released uh, Ready Player Me Avatar API and I wanted to make a video about that but I was all busy and couldn't really find the time to do it but this is the time. And so like I said what I'm going to talk about is Ready Player Me Avatar API. If you do not know what an API means, it means application programming interface. It's like um, endpoints to make computer software talk to each other. In this case, the game or application you are writing will be able to talk to our avatar API and request an avatar the way it wants. By the way it wants, what I mean is with some configuration. So let's take a look at the documentation and see what kind of options we have here. Before that, if you do not know what Ready Player Me is, please visit readyplayer.me and make yourself an avatar. Ready Player Me is a cross-platform avatar creator. You can use one avatar in many different applications and worlds and build your digital identity on top of it. Go check it out for yourself. I already have docs.readyplayer.me tab open. You can also visit this page and find more about what Ready Player Me can do and all the available integrations and platforms we have. Of course, what we are going to deal with is Avatar API. And on the left side, you can see Avatar API area. Let's click on overview and you can read here more about what Avatar API can do overall. What we are going to directly deal with is 3D avatars. You can click on get and open up this area. You can see there are options for mesh LOD, texture size limit, texture atlas, morph targets, uh, drag or compression, pose and use hands. All of them mean different things and there are explanations of them and what type of data you will send in the parameters. With Avatar API, we also have more robust metadata option right now. So you can actually fetch more information this time. Uh, here's an example request and the JSON response you will receive or about the body type, uh, skin tone, the creation date of the avatar and so on. So you can also make use of this information. In the overview page, we have an example of how it's implemented in Unity. What I'm going to cover will be this and an example of it. You can see what the scriptable object for configuration looks like and where you can find where to place it in the settings window and so more. Definitely read this page and we will follow this on top of that, make a small example. Without further ado, let's get to the example. I'm opening Unity Hub and we'll create a new project with Unity 2021 3D project and let's name it Avatar API test. Now I have my empty project. Let's go to documentation to download Red Player Me SDK. Under Unity download page, you can find the latest version. We will go to Google Drive. The latest version as the time I'm recording this is 1.13. Let's download it and we can directly open it after downloading. It is going to automatically import. Since this is 2021, uh, Newton Soft is already imported. I will uncheck that and import everything. And there we have Ready Player Me SDK. So I can open up our loading window everything is in order and let's take a look at the settings window so now you can see there is a field called avatar config under avatar settings and there is a scriptable object in it let's take a look at the interface of the scriptable object you will see there are three of them high low and medium and they have different values in them so mesh lod high low medium Pose, T pose, A pose, texture atlas uh, from low to high, and size limits for textures. Use hands option. And you can add a set of blend shapes, which includes Oculus VZMs, AR kit, or you can pick individually single blend shapes instead of groups. Let's remove it. That is pretty much how our configuration looks like. So in this context, previously we received one URL from Ready Player Me and uh, whichever your partner configuration was, avatar was in that configuration. Either it was high poly, low poly or different texture resolutions. This time, any avatar, you have a chance to change the configuration and receive it again. The same avatar, same ID, different quality settings. Let's right click on the projects window, create scriptable objects, ready player me and avatar configuration. 
So we have a new avatar configuration file and I'm gonna call it my config. Let's set mesh LOD to low, pose to T, and texture atlas to medium, and add uh, Oculus Visa and blend shapes. So this is my configuration and I want to receive my avatar in the settings. I am going to ready player me. So you can make, at this point you can make an avatar. I already had mine, so I just copied the URL of the avatar. I'm going to paste this into the URL field, load it into the scene so I can use it later. So I click on load and what I expect to see uh, in the scene right now is high configuration avatar because this is what I have in the settings window at the moment. I haven't set my config just yet. So what I'm seeing is the configuration in the high, high poly avatar with detailed texture. And this is in a pose. So let me change it to my config. So now I'm expecting it to be in T pose, low poly, low resolution texture with Vizam blend shapes. And my avatar has T pose, texture is low quality and everything is as I expected. So let's test with different uh, avatar configurations. And for this, I'm going to create a script and add some basic code in it. So let's go to assets folder and create a C sharp script in here and let's call it avatar API tester. And after that, we can create a game object that we are going to attach this uh, script to. Let's call it tester and move the script onto this game object. Let's take a look. Everything looks, uh, everything seems to be in order. And let's open the script and start editing it already. Rider is gonna take a short while. I can uh, remove the update function from the model behavior and we are going to only use a start method at this point. So first of all, let's create a field for our avatar URL that we are going to use and serialize field string avatar URL. And in start method, we can have our avatar loader to load the avatar from this URL. Let's create a new avatar loader object and call avatar load, load avatar method from here with the URL. So this is pretty much basically it. It loads the avatar, but this time we have a new field, a new property uh, in loader, which is avatar config. We can set a value to this. By default, it's null, or if it's null, of course, it is going to pick whatever was set in the settings window. But this time, let's create a field for avatar config and call this config and set this to our avatar loaders avatar config. So now whatever we set in the inspector will be the value that is going to be loaded. And like mentioned before, if this was set to null, what we were going to get was the configuration that was set in the settings window. So in the UI, I'm setting the value and let's copy the avatar URL again and paste it here. And at this point, we are going to run the scene. Start method will take over and is going to load the high quality avatar because that is what I have in the inspector right now. And high quality avatar A pose is loaded. Uh, my server, I'm using the demo subdomain of Ready Player Me, uh, which has something similar to the high, high quality settings we have. So if I just set it null and load it, I'm going to expect to see a pose high quality avatar again, just like that. So you can also keep that empty to get your default server settings. And finally, let me uh, select my, my config that we created and load the avatar with this. And this time we will see T pose avatar in low textures and there we have it everything is work working according to the plan and this time we did it in runtime not through the editor so to be able to keep the video short uh, i'm not going to work on the project example project that i want to show um right away 
I built it already. I'm gonna run it and explain you how that works. Also, you will be able to find the details in GitHub. So I have a menu with a input field and a button and you see a dummy avatar that already is in kind of boxing motion. And when I load the avatar, high quality avatar, my high quality avatar from the URL will be loaded into the menu. And then the buttons will change to, uh, the UI will change to a start button and you will be able to navigate a low quality avatar uh, in the game window. You click menu and you get back to the, you click menu button, you get back to the menu and there is high quality avatar, but in the game there is low quality avatar. What happens in the background is uh, when you clicked load, I actually downloaded and saved two avatars, high quality and low quality. Uh, mark them, don't destroy on load and well, use them switchingly. You can load a, you can make a new avatar and load it and it will work just like the same. And the details will be in the description. So this was pretty much what, uh, how you use the config and avatar API in Unity. I hope you learned something. So that would be all. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please drop in the um, comments. I try to reply as much as possible. And hopefully see you soon in another video if I have the time. Goodbye.